Okay, it's been about a week now since you planted your seeds, and you should see the young shoots emerging from the soil. This is the process we call germination, and it's really the first phase of growth and development of the plant that we can observe. You should do three screenings or assessments of your plants as they complete their life cycle. This process should take between four and eight weeks, depending on the environmental conditions of the classroom. It'll be very important for you to compare your mutant plants to the wild type at each of the three different screenings. Your first screen will take place a week after germination. Here's one family where you can see mutants segregating. You can see there are white plants, we call these albinos, and you should see more than one white plant per family. You should perform the second screen two or three weeks after germination. At this stage, the plants will have two or three leaves initiated. One thing that you might notice is that some of the mutants you identified in the first screen, such as this albino, are starting to die. You may also detect more subtle mutants, such as this pale green plant, that you didn't pick up in the first screen. The third screen should be performed when the plants have induced flowering. They'll initiate many branches, and you'll see there are multiple florets at the end of the main spikelet. For instance, here we see one spikelet that has eight florets. In the third and final screen, you'll see many mutations that affect plant form and flowering time. Okay, so this is a sample of some of the mutations that you might find at the end of your screen, in the third screen. So here is a plant that's short with very thin, tiny leaves. Here's a plant that has slightly longer leaves, but they're pale green and highly branched. Here's a mutant that's variegated, where it has green and white stripes on the leaves. This was an early flowering mutant that has now begun to senesce. And you can see that the spikelets are turning brown. This is another early flowering mutant that's at a slightly earlier stage in development. You haven't seen, we don't see the senescence yet, but the plants are noticeably shorter than the wild type. And here's another branching mutant where the plant has produced multiple tillers or branches.